Thread in the Shed 2. And I'm gonna have another go at this Trafalgar LED watch. And I've done a little bit of research on this watch and there's not a great deal actually on the internet about this watch. And I found, I think, two threads on forums where some people had tried to repair it. And unfortunately, on both occasions, they failed. So I don't think this video is gonna be a success. Um, it's just something that I wanna try. But one thing that did come up, which is what I suspected before, is the very small little crystal oscillator on the board there. Um, they reckon there was quite a high failure rate which I sort of knew anyway on LED on, on what I researched on this, I couldn't really find out the exact frequency. I think on the last video I said it in megahertz. Sorry, that's, that's just the radio kind of side of my brain working. Um, it was actually measured in kilohertz. But as, as a general rule, these are normally around about the sort of, um, sort of 32 kilohertz range. That generally gives the right frequency for a little processor there to sort of work things out. So what I'm gonna try and do in this video, and I, I, I really don't think it's gonna be successful, but I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna swap over the little crystal uh, oscillator there. You can pick these up on eBay very, very cheaply. I think just over sort of a pound. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna remove the one that's on the board. It's, it's quite fine soldered. It might not it might not work. My soldering skills might not be up to the job. And the chances of me putting this together and this working, well, seeing as no one else has succeeded, I, I think, I don't know, thousands to one, something like that. If this fails, then I'll just have to keep an eye out for perhaps a scrap watch that has a working module. But these things are like hen's teeth on eBay, that would be a long-term thing. But anyway, I thought I'd just do it for this video, um, just for the, just, I don't want to give up on the watch, and just for the entertainment factor, really. We're gonna swap out this oscillator, and uh, yeah, massive fingers crossed. the new oscillating, oscillating crystal soldered in. It just about fits, it's a little bit tight. Maybe one, maybe one millimeter sort of tighter than the, uh, than the old one, but it's, uh, it's on the board. And yeah, I don't, I don't think this is gonna work, but it's worth a go, isn't it? So I think just put it back together, put the batteries on and uh, see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tight, I think, getting the uh, back on. Hopefully, everything will fit. Well, like I say, you know, the chances no one else has had any success at doing this. Um, so I'm really not all that hopeful. In fact, I'm very, very unhopeful that this is... Well, I'm hopeful, but I'm very unconfident. This will, in fact, work. Work. And make sure we get the back on the right way. And that side. Well, it fits anyway. Uh, yeah, oh, it's the same thing, same problem. It's got one digit showing up, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, same thing. So it appears that it was not the oscillating crystal. It dims down now. Just double check, I've got to think. It. Yeah, so, well, it was worth a go, I guess. That's it for now. And uh, thanks just for tuning in. Just thought I'd do it, just for the amusement factor, really. It would have been lovely if it would have worked, but obviously, yeah, uh, it's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, there you go. 
Cheers, thanks for tuning in. If I ever find a module for this that works, I will update this video and uh, we'll have it working. But as for now, as always, cheers, thanks for tuning in. You're always welcome. And uh, stay safe and of course, catch you all on the next one. <laughs>